With the match underway, we have two Red Alliance robots going off of the half zone and two Blue Alliance robots leaving the half zone. Make that three for the Blue Alliance. Unfortunately, during that autonomous period, Ultimate Protection Squad goes over the midline of the field. During the Sandstorm period, neither Red Alliance robots nor Blue Alliance robots may cross to their opponent's side of the field. Blue Alliance in the lead with 12 points compared to 9. Our Red Alliance unique because it is our Twins Alliance. Both Wild Stang and Team High with identical robots with identical abilities. They're quickly wild staying with a hatch panel on the top level of the Red Alliance rocket. They're now coming in with a cargo pod. They put it in and it makes it. Combined that hatch panel and cargo pod is five points for the Red Alliance. Wild Stang wants to make it two. They put it up top. That hatch panel is precarious, but it will work. Wild Stang successfully fills up the top level of the Red Alliance rocket. 10 points total and a third of the way to a ranking point. On our Blue Alliance not to be outdone, Bomb Squad and Titan Robotics both grabbing cargo pods from the half zone. Bomb Squad very quickly puts that into the cargo bay. They're followed up by Titan Robotics who's able to do the same. One minute remaining in our match. High scores on both the Red and Blue Alliance. Only four points separating the two with a minute remaining. Wild Stang rushes back to the loading zone as well as Team High. 45 seconds to go. Blue Alliance extending their lead by nine points. It looks like Wild Stang and Team High now teaming up on the Red Alliance rocket. They've got two hatch panels in place on the middle level and adding cargo pods. 30 seconds remaining in the max. Axiom of the Red Alliance playing some last minute defense against Titan Robotics, trying to get in the way as Titan places a cargo pod in the lower level of the Blue Alliance rocket. 15 seconds, we are in our end game period. Axiom Robotics races back home from the Blue Alliance side of the field. Over on the Blue Alliance, we will have a ranking point. Bomb Squad on level three, two partners on level one. Axiom of the Red Alliance able to get onto level one of the platform, but they are not able to be joined by Wild Sting or Team Pie. Get an extra ranking point thanks to that habitat point value. So congratulations to our Blue Alliance for their hard-earned win for Kualavigation match number 11 here in the Midwest Regional.